Hi, my name is Elisa Kohansky and I'm principal cellist of the Wheeling Symphony. Today, hopefully I'll be making a video for you that will be helpful in preparing you for this audition. I'm gonna start with the Schroeder Etude and then go through the Samuel Coleridge Taylor dance and the Dvorak New World symphony excerpts. As you're preparing to play the Schroeder Etude number 28, I would first work on my bow stroke with the goal being long, short, short, long, short, short. So maybe try first playing on open strings. D, G, all of the strings would be appropriate. <laughs> actually with just open strings, with the correct open string for the actual notes you'll be playing eventually. So in the beginning, first measure, I'd play just open strings. And that gets your bow really oriented to what you're doing. And then as you add the left hand, it'll work wonderfully. Another thing that you could pay attention to for this etude is the dynamics. So it starts loud, gets softer, in the first few lines. And then you have some hairpin dynamics in there. And I think varying a little bit where you are on the string will be help very helpful for that. So starting in the beginning. It's kind of a robust bow stroke. And as you get later to the piano, my bow is on the string from middle-ish closer to the bridge to closer to the fingerboard but not above the fingerboard actually just an exercise in making sure you're starting on the string from the string so setting your hand in advance here your left hand and getting your bow to be prepared to be on the string for all of these accents is really important to the style of this so I would get my hand ready left hand and bow on the string and don't lift it before you actually start a lot of times we see that it's you start with your bow on the string and then you lift and bear down on it but in fact if you just set your bow in the string and pull, it'll give you a greater accent. So every time I'm starting the string, my bow is in the string, ready to go. And all I'm doing is just snapping it basically with the bow, with the hair. Uh, and as you're doing these 16th notes, my advice, uh, there's no measure number here, but when the key changes and you're starting on G and F sharp is to keep your hand really with a tunnel so that your G string is actually available to ring as you're playing this. It makes it sound much better. Here's Samuel Coleridge Taylor's dance. Thank you. 
hearing the Dvorak first excerpt from around number three, put on a metronome and make sure that you're really being careful about subdividing eighth notes versus triple eighth notes versus sixteenth notes. Also, the string crossings are pretty difficult. So I would use the technique of practicing with just open strings with this as well as the etude. So one way that you can practice the rhythm difference is just with separate bows with the metronome on. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, triple. So there's the triplets and the eighth notes. And then the 16th notes. So I'm thinking about the subdivision for every beat as I'm playing. I would also put a metronome on and make sure that you're keeping yourself accountable for the correct number of beats. In between, uh, there are no measure numbers, before four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight before four and four, those one beat rests at the beginning of the measures are sometimes a little difficult to catch correctly because you're coming off of something that's slightly difficult. So put on your metronome, try your subdivisions and watch your string crossings. Keep your bow as close to the pivot point as you can. So as you're leaning, going towards the A string, lean towards the A string side of the D. And the same thing if you're going on a lower string. Here's a New World Symphony first excerpt. <laughs> Dvorak excerpt. You have to understand that these are all 16th notes and that you have to prepare for the shift so you're in the next position. Uh, and then as you come into number six to be ready for the same tempo with significantly slower notes. Uh, and watch your triplets also at the very end of the excerpt that they're actual triplets and not rushed. So I would make sure I knew where my positions are starting an extended third, and then going to closed second to first. And then later, maybe 10 measures later, uh, getting yourself into a place where you're not crossing strings too much, so up in fourth position. Once you're at number six, you can use open strings and keep it very short, kind of near the frog. <laughs> watch also your 16th notes. As you're playing the 16th notes, make sure your notes are even. This is difficult, but if you leave the balance of your hand in the middle, for the middle of your hand as you're playing these pivots, it'll be easier than if you're leaning on your first finger with your thumb underneath it and doing this. So try to center your hand as much as possible with your thumb under the center. Under For me, it's under my third finger close-ish to my second. Some people has to be under their second finger. Wherever your hand feels most balanced and centered for each of these, make sure your thumb moves with you as you move down to the lower positions and then moves up with you as you go to the, the higher positions here. Uh, and just try for very even 16th notes. Here's the Dvorak second excerpt. <laughs>
As you're playing your last Dvorak excerpt, this is your time to shine. You have a really beautiful melody in the beginning of this that if you connect your bows, it will be very special, it will stand out as something that's excellent in your audition. Uh, we also have to remember that all the rhythms that we've practiced from the other excerpts come back here. So you have your triplets versus 16th notes. Make sure that you don't tripletize your 16th notes when you're doing ba da da di da 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 di da 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 is what we don't want to hear. We want to make sure that 16th note is very crisp. Da 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 di da 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 ba da da da. So you have an actual difference between triplet and 16th note. As you get to 10, keep your bow really in the string, even though it's quiet. Make sure not to lift your bow off the string. And as you're playing the doubles of each note, think about where you're going next string crossing wise so you're prepared for the next string crossing. Here's the third excerpt from Dvorak's New World Symphony. <laughs> helpful for you. Good luck in your practicing and on your audition and I hope that one day we'll be able to meet in person. Take care. Happy celloing.